Well boys, I'm sure you've all heard the news by now. Elden Ring has officially been delayed. I know a lot of people were speculating that it would happen. Personally, I didn't think it would, but I'd be lying if I said the thought hasn't been there for some time. But that's not the only news we have today. We are actually going to be able to get our hands on Elden Ring before it releases. And on top of all of that, we got a new screenshot to break down today. And then after that, I want to discuss the speculation going around why the game was delayed and whether or not it was due to the leak that happened on Saturday. But we got a lot to get through today. If you're new around here do me a favor and hit that subscribe button i do my best to keep you guys up to date on all the latest elden ring news and you'll be involved with a really active souls community but now let's get into the video early this morning we got the bad news elden ring has officially been delayed to february 25th and the reasoning was the depth and strategic freedom of the game exceeded their initial expectations now that is totally understandable the souls games are some of the most deep and intricate games i've ever played in my life and now they're trying to take all that magic and expand it five times into this open world. Now it is important to note that Bloodborne was also delayed by a month, and we know that game had a lot of cut content, so it's pretty unclear exactly what they're trying to work out with this delay. I know there's a lot of speculation going on right now, but the truth is we don't know. No, I'm perfectly fine with this delay, I'm fine waiting another month. I mean, at this point, we've been waiting over two years. The way I feel about it is that if they weren't going to make the release date, they shouldn't have given it in the first place. It would have been a lot better just to say early 2022, because I know a lot of people that took off work to play this game, and now they're kind of screwed with this vacation week that they can't switch. However, I do understand the complexity of all of this, and ultimately in the end, we are going to be getting a better game because of it. Now, I'm not sure if it was because of the leak. I don't think it was, and I'm not going to show that footage in this video because I know there's a lot of y'all that don't want to see it, but the footage is spoiler free and it does look a little rough, and it's perfectly logical to say that the textures were pretty bad, but according to the leaker, it was on last gen consoles, but that's another video I'll be working on next, so be on the look out for that. But either way, the evidence has been pointing to a delay coming for quite a while now. The sheer lack of marketing, all the confusion and debacle with the PvP, and the overall silence of Bandai Namco really wasn't looking too good. But either way, we gotta wait another month now and that's just the reality of it. But now let's talk about when you can get your hands on an early test build of Elden Ring. Take a look at this. That was the trailer for the upcoming Community Network test, and that is the first chance we're going to get to have our hands-on experience with Elden Ring. Now, for those of you that don't know what a network test is, basically it's a demo version of the game that they released to the public to see how the online functionality handles the rapid influx of players. Now, we've had these for all of the previous Souls games, except for Sekiro, obviously, since that didn't have any online features, but basically it let us play one level of the game and fight one boss. For Dark Souls 3, it was the High Wall of Lothar, and for Dark Souls Remastered, we got to play through the Undead Parish and fight the Bell Gargoyles. Now, they actually specified that we're going to be playing in the open field and we're going to get to experience a few of the dungeons that Elden Ring has to offer. This network test is going to be console only, so for you PC players, I'm sorry, but there are just too many red flags with that. If they were to release it on PC, you already know people would data mine the whole game in seconds, so I understand why they're not doing that. It's also important to note that this is not going to be an open network test, it's going to be random only to a select few people the amount of who we don't know yet so that's pretty unfortunate but entries will end on november the 1st so make sure you sign up before then all you got to do is go to eldenring.com and you can find it from there this network test is going to run in five waves and here are the dates you have a potential chance of actually playing the game so as you can see it's going to run from november 12th to november 14th and they did say the codes will be in the inbox of the email that you submitted on november 8th something that kind of caught me off guard with this is that they said live streaming and videos are not going to be allowed because the game is still a work in progress and i don't think they're actually going to be able to hold that because they're probably looking at thousands of people all playing this game i mean it's gonna leak there's no way they're going to be able to enforce it with everybody so if you get unlucky and don't get a code i'm sure you're still going to be able to see it but moving on from that i want to take a look at this new screenshot we got today i really like this one we can see the player character in two summons taking down this big golem creature that we can reasonably assume to be a field boss now 
we've seen these guys before. All the player characters we can see on screen are ones we've seen in the past. We've got our mage, our knight, and our dex build. And we've also seen this boss before, just briefly in the Summer Games Fest trailer. And we can see that we're going to encounter him in this same open field area that we've seen time and time again. This image does give us a really good look at the new magic spell designs. Although the only things we can definitely make out are birds on either side. But this is a super cool screenshot, even if there's nothing too crazy new to see here. Now for just a moment, I want to talk about this situation as a whole. I see a lot of people complaining that this is somehow emblematic of the game not being finished, and that we might be dealing with another cyberpunk situation. I can tell you right now that's probably not going to be the case. From Software know what they're doing, they've never made a bad game, and they definitely wouldn't release something that they're not proud of, especially not with Miyazaki at the helm. I'm very glad they're going to actually give us a network test this time. However, I am very weirded out at the statement that they don't want people streaming it. I think that is very strange, although it could just be traced back to their creative passion and them wanting the final product to be the forefront. So overall, I don't think this situation is cause for concern. You know, they've always been gameplay first, graphics second. So likely this delay is just more time to polish everything up. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new around here and say a prayer that you get in on the network test. But I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.